Hey guys, my name's Gan, and welcome back to Post Plan Chat. The Valorant Champions Tour Indonesia Stage 3 is underway and the Challengers 2 has begun. The Open Qualifiers have ended and the top 5 teams will be playing in the main stage with Boom Esports, Bigatron and Morph Impact. The previous finalists of Challengers 1 will get another shot at taking a slot to the SEA Challengers playoffs. Talking about the top 5 who passed the open qualifiers, we got Rex Regim Kwon, RRQ with a new roster, performing brilliantly and even defeated Alter Ego 2-1, placing Alter Ego down to the lower bracket where they had a tough task to win through and take the fifth slot towards the main event, which they were able to do flawlessly, not to mention. Menkari Tempat Berliabu, which is now under the banner of NXLG Academy. They previously played in the Challengers 1, however, they were not able to make the cut last time. Let's see if they can do it this time in the Challengers. Too. We also got Team XCN, which this time around had to play without Rosify, their Sova player. They brought in L, a player who previously played for VVV, and Excurit as a sixth player and coach for XCN. Despite the recent roster changes, they were also able to qualify and adapt pretty well for the main event e once more. Lastly, we have Wei Esports, who failed to make it through Challengers 1, but they're back and a well-known team that always got in the top 8 in the previous VCT stages. To sum it all up, our 8 teams competing for the main event to possibly get a slot to the SEA Challengers playoffs or another chance through the Challengers 3 are Boom Esports, Bigatron, Morph Impact, RRQ, NXLG Academy, XCN, Way Esports, and Alter Ego. Good luck to all the teams proceeding to the main event and we'll see you in the next news.